What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and I'm back with another Regulation H team. This time it's a Doc Spun team by Mr. Kurtastic. And this isn't just a Doc Spun team, this team has five really cool Pokemon in a Rillaboom. Uh, Rillaboom just kind of finishes out the Firewater Grass Core, but let, whatever. So to start out we got Ninetales and Baxcalibur. Ninetales sets the Snow, which gives Baxcalibur a defense boost, and then Aurora Veil, which gives Baxcalibur more defense boosts, and the whole team. Just a super solid combo, and it's Loaded Dice, Icicle Spear, Spear and Scale Shot Baxcalibur. So those will hit at least four times. And Scale Shot, if you don't know, it lowers your defense one stage and increases your speed one stage when you use it. Not per hit, just one speed boost. So it's, it's pretty good. Now here we've got Typhlosion with Lava Plume. This Lava Plume will hit everyone on the field, including your partner Doxbun, with Well-Baked Body, giving it a plus two defense every time. And then that will boost your body press damage and make it impossible to get rid of. It also has Snarl and Substitute and Protect just to be even more annoying. You can also combo that Lava Plume with Baxcalibur, who can get an attack boost with its Thermal Exchange, but you'll probably want a Terra Water to pull that off. And finally, we have another Hisui starter, Samurott. Samurott fills in this role because in Regulation H, since they removed Urshifu, there's a lot of room for creativity in your water type. So Samurott is the one on this team. It's got sharpness, so its Ceaseless Edge and Aqua Cutter are boosted, making them hit really hard. And Ceaseless Edge, its signature move, also sets a layer of spikes every time it connects. So it's super good and super fun. This team just has so much spice on it. I'm so excited to play. Let's get on with it. Okay, here we go. Okay, we got an actual Regulation H team. Casual Ladder's not so bad. Uh, they got Whimsicott Annihilate for beat up shenanigans. Incineroar, of course. Sinistra, which is awesome. Uh, and then they have regular Ursaluna and Grimmsnarl. That's gonna be a bulky team. They probably wanna bulk up their Annihilate, behind screens, heal it with Sinistra. Oh boy. How can I punish them hard? Uh, getting the bun set up would be nice, but it doesn't do anything into the ghosts. Uh, Bax's caliber getting set up could be really nice. Huh. Get some attack boost with Lava Plume, maybe get a burn here or there. That wouldn't be bad. I could also get my Aurora Veil up. It's gonna be a tanky game on both sides. Uh, Ceaseless Edge is okay. Aqua Cutter B having high crit chance against the Ape is good, especially if I bait it into going Terra Fire with Typhlosion. I like that. So I like Typhlosion and I like Samurott in the back actually. But who am I going to lead it with? Am I going to bring Doxbun? No, because they have they can put two ghosts on the field at the same time. I think I want to go with Bax, Samurott. Maybe back nine tails then. I don't really know because like if they don't Terra their ape, I got like Moonblast for it. I can get Aurora Veil up later. It'll boost back Calibur's defense as long as I don't Terra Bax. Cool card. All right. What are you gonna do? Okay, just fake out. Set up your screens. I get it. That's reasonable. Covert Cloak and Citrus Berry. Oh, your Grim is cloaked. Interesting. That's very interesting. Uh, I think I can use Spoopy better later, so maybe I want to get out now. Because if it's not a fake out, it could just be like a knockoff. And I would like to use Typhlosion against something else in the late game. So I'm worried about a knockoff, so I could go to Ninetales or Samurott here pretty easily. Uh, if Incineroar is going to stay in, I want to go to Samurott. And then here, I just want to get some damage down. I don't really care on who. I guess Chipping Incin would be good, because I expect I'm going to scare it out in a bit. Okay. Uh, they can also just go for fake out on the back's caliber here. That'd be perfectly reasonable. Ooh, shiny Samurott. That looks so cool. 
Okay, no fake out. Good call. There's your citrus berry. Go ahead, have a snack. Thank you for showing me that. Brisk is actually pretty good on this ladder. Oh, and they don't even set up a screen. They just go for an attack. Ow. And a knockoff. There goes my dice. Okay. That's interesting. Terra Poison's interesting just to not take as much damage. But... I think the Incineroar is pretty scared. I want... How scared is it? Because they could swap out to their Grass type. In which case I could throw down like a Ceaseless Edge instead. But maybe just Aqua Cutter and covering with Icicle Spear might be better. Yeah, that's what I want to do. There it goes. So this covers it staying in with Aqua Cutter and going into Sinistra with Icicle Spear. Nice. Okay. At least got something right. But behind Reflect, I'm not going to do much. And without the dice, I may only get two spears. Okay, Aqua Cutter does nothing. Icicle Spear. Wow, that thing is tanky. Where'd Vax Caliper go? Oh, there's a crit! Thank you! Multi-hit move plus Aqua Cutter, I was bound to get a crit somewhere. Oh, I only get the two, though? Oh, come on. Uh, at least I called that. That was cool. Alright, uh, I guess Terra on this would be fine. Maybe they don't have the eight? They must have the eight. In which case, my Terra should be... Should be Samurai anyway. I guess it could also be Typhlosion. But I don't mind terrestrializing here and hitting a Ceaseless Edge. Uh, I guess they could Terra. Not really too concerned. I will also Icicle Spear. I think this will be fine. I think it gives Samurai a time to shine here. Little Poison Hat. Little skull and crossbones. One of the goofiest little hats. Ooh, a protect. Okay. Uh, are you just gonna take out my back's caliber? Because that would be a okay with me. Oh, you're gonna parting shot out. Oh, uh, then you get a fake out turn next turn. I see. And then what? Do you want to set? Like room or something? I don't know. I don't know what your sinister is up to. Uh, would you go into ape here? Nope. Here's Ensign. Just cycling your Intimidates. All good. Uh, I still want to throw Ceaseless Edge, I think, but I can probably swap backs out. But I also don't really care too much about backs at this point. I mean, it can still do something. It's faster than a lot of their team. I could probably get Ninetales in very safely on that slot anyway, so I'll just Ceaseless Edge, and I'll bring in Ninetales. Ninetales is perfectly safe. I, I mean, I guess they could Flare Blitz there, but that'd be weird. Should probably be a knockoff into Bax if you're hitting Bax at all. It's probably just a fake out into, I don't know, Samurai. Okay, there goes Sinistra. Alright, we finally see... Annihilate. And we don't hit it. That's fine. I didn't want to hit it anyway. Okay, now I want to throw an Aqua Cutter over into Incineroar. Set up Veil. Yeah, setting up Veil seems good. I wonder if we bait the Terra out of Annihilate now, because they didn't get Light Screen up. I can just Moonblast them whenever. It'll do good damage. And Aqua Cutter does how much? Eh, it was okay. Reflect and Intimidate is a lot. Oh, Drain Punch isn't gonna hurt. Oh, it was a crit! It still barely hurt. Oh, but they're doubling it. We eat. We're good. Alright. I guess Aqua Cutter is the play. Get rid of that. And just throw a Moon Blast at the 8. All right, you're gonna swap. I was, I, I kind of wanted to ceaseless edge. Who's coming in? Oh no, Aqua Cutter is better anyway. That's fine. How much does Moonblast do? 
Not a decent chunk. Nothing crazy. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, why'd you do that? Nine tails? You were not supposed to do that. Good crit. Thank you, Samurott. Oh, no, nine tails. Why did you give him the attack boost? All right, well that's scary, but Samrot's faster, which is good. Hmm. Maybe I could try to Aqua Jet. Reflect is gone. Maybe I could Aqua Jet and get rid of their screens. I think that might work. And then I have the choice between Shadow Ball and Eruption. Covert Cloak, Leftovers, yeah, we know, we know. Uh, what's my attack at? Only minus one? I think Aqua Jet might do it. If we can get rid of them having any screens at all, that would be huge. And then 150, 160, potentially spread. We also haven't seen Terra yet. But Aqua Jet. If I get hit, I'm going down. Because that thing's at plus two. I'm going to click Eruption. Alright, we finally see the Terra. What do you got, Annihilate? It is fire. Uh, does that mean you're taking out Samurott here? Because if not, and I can get an Aqua Cutter off, that would be big. Gotcha. Alright, no screens for you. That's at least okay. And this is 75 power versus... Because it's half effective, versus 80 from Shadow Ball. So the damage isn't going to be much different. It was going to be about that anyway. Oh, and it's Rage Fist there. I like that. I have a chance because of that. <laughs> now, let's see. What problems do I have left? They still have Incineroar. That's a big problem. They can get a fake out because I, my Samrock can't protect. That actually probably cost me the game. I think I lose to this Annihilate. Even though I prevented screens. But we'll see. And also with no screens up now. Okay, they go into Sinistra. Could be a redirection play. In which case I could Ceaseless Edge here and Icicle Spear. No. Sk high Horsepower is what I meant. High Horsepower the 8. Oh, they just protect the 8. That's interesting. Expecting me to double into it or something. Okay. Free hit. I'll take it. Uh, they are going to now get Incineroar in and even have so much health on their Annihilate that I gave an attack boost from Moonblast. Thanks a lot, Ninetales. Alright. Snow is gone, but I wasn't using the snow. I do have Veil up, but like, how much is that really going to help? Can Samrot take a hit from here? I doubt it. Okay, you're at least very weak. Wait, did Spikes KO you? Yo! No Intimidate! <laughs> they don't get Intimidate because of that! Wait, that's huge! Samrot, thank you! They didn't get another Intimidate! Max Calibur's neutral, Samrot's only minus one! I think we're faster with both. Yo, Aqua Cutter, huge damage, thank you. Wasn't even a crit. And then Rage Fist Samurott, Samurott's down, okay. All we gotta do is connect the high horsepower and we got this. Samurott, yes! Wow, that was so much damage too, that didn't even crit. That was at minus one. And goodbye Annihilate, yes! There we go, there we go, critical hit, that is the critical hit. <laughs> Woo! Okay! Mad respect for Samurott there! KO in the Incineroar with spikes? Doing the big damage? Shredding through their team? I love it! GG's! Alright, here we go. Another Regulation H team. Let's do it. Alright, what do we got here? 
We got Sinistra, love it. Hatterene, so they're going for Trick Room. Incineroar, Toxapex, Garganacle, and Vicavolt. Two potential Wide Guard users, even, huh? All right, how do we stop Trick Room? We've got one Mon immune to Fake Out. That could help. We've got Rillaboom that can probably out fake out their Incineroar. That's not really that important. Uh, I like Spoopy Lead. And do I like the Bun? I like the Ice guys. Maybe this isn't one for Samurai, or maybe it is. Okay, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna try to do the Dox Bun combo here. Set up the Dox Bun combo. Have Bax Caliber maybe or Samurott. I need something that can hit that Sinistra hard. Because if Spoopy goes down, the dog can't really handle it. So I think that's going to be Bax, since it's not weak to it like Samurott is. And then do I want Ninetales or do I just want Samurott too? I think I just also want Samurott. Like, what's the problem with Samurott? It's weak to Vicavolt. It's weak to. Salt Cure, it's weak to Hatterene. Okay, maybe there are, is a problem with it. <laughs> I guess I could have brought Ninetales, but I don't see Ninetales contributing much other than set Veil and then get out of the way. So I think this is fine. Okay, Tinkerton, cool. Cool card. Thank you for having a Regulation H team. Ooh, Garganacle Sinistra from the start. Okay. There's potential for Wide Guard. Okay, Rocky Helmet, Sinistra. Leftovers, Garganacle. I can't burn the Garganacle. I could potentially sub up. I think I want to get a defense boost and get behind a sub. So I'm gonna Lava Plume sub, turn one. So I think if I'm behind a sub, I, I feel a lot more comfortable here. All right, they're going for a Terra. If it's Ghost Garganacle, then the dog is useless. Okay, Sinistra's tearing into water. Okay, I can live with that. I can't hit you with the Typhlosion anymore, but I can hit you with Body Press now. So I'm very happy with that. Now if my Typhlosion gets, like, scalded, that would be bad. Can I burn the Sinistra? No. Stealth Rock. Okay. Typhlosion swapping out really doesn't like that, actually. Ooh, and a Trick Room. Alright. What do I think I do here? I think I just try to stall a bit more. Because with Stealth Rock, I don't want to swap in backs here. I don't want to swap Typhlosion out. I think I'm going to go for Lava Plume. What's my Terra? Steel? I don't hate that. What do they have in the back? Steel totally works. I think I'm gonna trust in the dog. I'm gonna steal Terra, and I'm gonna body press into Garganacle. Oh, Sinistra swap, cool. Cool, 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 I didn't target that. Who's this? DD? Incineroar! My bun doesn't care and is behind a sub. You can't get scared behind a sub, apparently. Alright, let's Terrorastalize. Fortunately, unlike Dynamax, you can keep your sub while you Terra. You just have to pop out to do it. Dynamax was weird. I don't know if I liked it. Terra, I like a lot. I feel like I'm gonna struggle a bit when uh, Terra goes away, finally. Yeah, that Salt Cure damage is adding up. 
Alright, plus two body press. Decent. I'll take it. I'd like another defense boost, please. Thank you. Uh, I feel safer swapping into Samurott now. Safer swapping to Samurott. Lots of S's. I don't want to get Salt Cured. But I would like Samurott on the field, and I think Typhlosion can still do something as long as it stays above a quarter. Because that's what it'll take from Stealth Rock. And if there's ever a position for Samurott to be in, it would be that one. So I'm going to swap Samurott. And I'm going to finish off Garg, maybe? Yeah, that seems right. This Incineroar I'm not too afraid of now that I've got plus four defense and it can't use fire moves on me. If my sub ever went down, though, Salt Cure would be a problem for the dog. Ooh, they're going to recover. I kind of like that. Even if you eat this hit, which I think you do now. I think that's fine. That shouldn't break my sub. Nice. And you don't remove my item because of the sub. Substitute is busted. Okay. That did decent damage. I can keep the body press pressure up on that. And I can... I can either Aqua Cutter into Incineroar, or I can read it trying to swap out. How about I switch things around? How about I Aqua Cutter that, the uh, Garganacle and go for a Body Press onto Incin? Yeah, I like that just fine. Because I, I think if Sinistra swapped in, it would be on the Incin slot to heal up Garganacle and try to take a water move. But I don't want to allow that. Okay, just staying in. Alright, I will take you out. I don't think that breaks my sub either. Yeah, and then another knockoff. Okay, now that might break my sub finally, right? Finally. Alright, they finally broke my sub. But thankfully the order of that didn't get me salt here. Body press, incineroar bye-bye! <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a dog-eat-cat world, right? And then Aqua Cutter should take out this Garg. Yes, goodbye. Sweet. Very cool. How's this trick room coming along? Are we done? Uh, leftovers. Heals my health. Nope, looks like we got more trick room. Hmm. Oh well. Who's your last? That's important. Because I think the dog beats your Sinistra. Oh, it's Hatterene. I think a dog can handle a Hatterene. It'll be a little annoying, but... Last turn of Trick Room. Not sure how much use Typhlosion really is. I think I'm gonna bring Typhlosion in here, and if it goes down, it goes down. Just protect Doxbun. This is a passive play. They could Trick Room, Trick Room to reset Trick Room. Uh, but I don't think they have so much offensive pressure that it causes a problem. Plus here I get to see uh, what they're rocking. We know there's a Rocky Helmet. And Mago Berry. Okay, so Snarl will work on that. If it was like Covert Cloak or Clear Amulet, then Snarl would do nothing. But Okay, Mystical Fire. That actually doesn't work on me. So careful there. And then Macha Gacha. I think Typhlosion beat that. I think we got Typhlosion in for free. Love it. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, take your little bit of healing, but you can't... Can you burn the dog? I'm not sure how that works. I don't... I think maybe you can burn the dog. That would be annoying. Okay, Twisted Dimensions are back to normal. I'm gonna throw Shadow Ball at the Hatterene and just a Snarl. Battle is canceled. Yep, the dog got it. Let's go. GG's. Alright, we're up against Myth and they have double restricted. Okay, we'll give it a shot. Uh, we have a way to change the weather. We have 
Honestly, Doxbun looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. Ooh, but if Gallade has Sacred Sword and Meowskarada has Flower Trick, then I have to Terra for one and the other one will stop me. Uh, I do think uh, this Typhlosion is pretty good. I think I might just go with Doxbun Typhlosion. Nine Tails just to turn off their weather. And then who can hit the Dawn, the uh, Dusk Main Necrozma? I've got high horsepower here, that won't do much, and then I'll get blown up. I guess I can body press it to death. I can maybe KO it before it can KO me as long as I Terra Steel. But if I Terra Steel, I'm weak to Collision Course and Sacred Sword. Don't really have much to do uh, up to those. Samurott can't really hit them. Rillaboom can't really hit them. Yikes. Uh, I guess it's Vax, huh? Yeah, behind Veil and in the snow, Bax can probably take a fighting move. I hope. I think with Veil and the defense boost that Ice types get, and that's a decent card, and the uh, Coridon's ability turning off when I turn on the snow, I think then maybe I can live a collision course. Okay, they're just going with Gallade and Noivern. Why did my ability not activate? They're not using held items. Okay. Interesting, for sure. Oh, uh, let's Lava Plume. We'll get the defense boost. We're not weak to uh, Sacred Sword just yet, so I think I'm happy to... Do I go for Snarl? Try to weaken up that Noivern a bit? I know I want to Lava Plume. I want the defense boost. That's my end game. Lava Plume, I don't think Sub is safe, plus they have sound-based moves. I don't think Body Press will KO Gallade. That's why, yeah, Snarl it is. Ooh, Wide Guard, nice. Nice play. Alright, I guess it matters what Noivern does, because I wasted my turn, but I did get the plus two defense. So let's just pretend I used Iron Defense. Which is not a waste of a turn. And they just set Tailwind. Okay. Not too concerned about that. As long as Gallade is stuck doing that, I can just keep getting defense boosts anyway. So I think I'm okay. And then I'll throw a body press at something. Lava Plume. I mean, I like my fairy typing here. I don't want to change it. And then I'll body press into... I think the Noivern. It's a little squishy, right? And it's the only one attacking right now as long as they keep locking into Wide Guard. Ooh, they've got Shadow Ball. That's gonna hurt. Alright, we eat it. I mean, it's not sad. It's not a very strong Pokemon either. Uh, and we can. We can swap out now. Plus four defense is a lot. I'm happy. We got things that could take a Shadow Ball. That did not do very much damage. <laughs> Great. Uh, I think I go into Ninetales here. <sighs> but they have, they have Coridon in the back. That doesn't work. I don't just let Typhlosion go, though. Yeah, I still go to Ninetales. I'm gonna body press over at Gallade this time. I think the wide guard is probably stopping now, and that scares me a bit. Gallade actually attacking is much scarier than it just clicking wide guard. That's a scary Pokemon. Okay, just it's just oh Galame. What's that name? Are you calling it lame? And they go for Tailwind because they cannot count to four. All right, cool. That's a big hit! Whoa! Whoa! Why was that so much damage? Okay, that's a bulky Noivern, but not a bulky Glade. Got it. I'm gonna try to set Veil. It may not succeed. 
And then I'll try to finish off Glaive. Okay, they're not wide guarding anymore. But they didn't put Sun up. Fire Punch! We Alright, good. Thank you, Snow Buff. Man, the buff to Snow is so huge. And we get rid of Gallade. Alright. Now I probably have to get Ninetales out of here at some point. Get the Weather Bat. Assuming they even brought Restricteds. Maybe they saw that I was actually playing Reg H. Now your Tailwind's out. Maybe they saw that I was actually playing Reg H and they just brought their illegal Pokemon? Nope. That ain't it. <laughs> Alright, am I happy to Terra the Bun now? Yes. Yeah, I think I need to. Oh, I could protect as well. I could also Terra Backs. But no, Sunsteel Strike's gonna hurt the bun. Um, yeah, I could just protect Body Press. No, you, th you know what? I think I'm okay with losing Ninetales. No, I'm not. I'm really not. I also don't want to lose Typhlosion. So yeah, I'll protect first and just get some body press chip into the dawn, into the dust main Necrozma. Which is shiny, by the way. Very cool. Yeah, they tailwind. I'm thinking they might... Oh, I didn't tear the bun. Uh, maybe I don't need to. I should have teared the bun. Yikes. How much? It can't be too much. Oh no, that's fine. Plus four, plus veil. We're good. Ooh, and that's almost half damage. Love it. Alright, I don't want to lose Ninetales. Oh, maybe I have to bring in Baxcalibur. Baxcalibur is the thing I'm willing to risk. Uh, I think I will steal Terra this time. And no reason not to just body press that again. The Necrozma needs to go. The Necrozma's the threat. This Noivern has already proven it doesn't do much damage. It's just there to click Tailwind and look pretty. Alright, uh, sorry Bax, this, uh, you might get hurt here. If they switch over to hitting you. But with Snow and Veil, you might lose. You're pretty bulky, right? Right? Baxcalibur has some stats. But this dog is carrying. Yo. Dock spun? Okay, Shadow Ball, that won't hurt. That'll be fine. That was probably covering a Typhlosion swap. And Power Gem. Didn't know you'd be mixed, but that's not too bad. Ooh, 1 HP. Alright, now I think I can just protect Bax and Snarl finish them both off. Well, no, we'll finish off the Restricted. Protect, Snarl, and then that'll weaken Noivern a lot, too. And if I get the KO, then it's locked in at minus one, and it was already doing pathetic damage. Outrage! Okay, they're just clicking buttons now. Yikes. Noivern with Outrage? Okay, I did not expect it to be mixed. They got some interesting sets. Definitely interesting. You might say that. Alright, snow ended. I could maybe put snow back up. Just sack nine tails. Uh, it depends. I assume they brought Koridon. <laughs> PKM Ray dot sun. Oh! Oh, it's Meowskarada! Oh, okay. That's cool. Alright, I'll Icicle Spear over here. And I'll body press the Miascarada. Which you clearly got through Wonder Trade. Oh, and here's a Terra. Okay. Well, that Pokemon uh, is likely Gen, so it probably has some good stuff going on. Ooh, I'm glad I body pressed that slot instead of Icicle Spear in that slot. Because they're Terra Fire. That's interesting. I don't think I've seen that. Here's Outrage, but you get the wrong target. That's the problem with Outrage. And Fire Terra Blast doesn't work on the bun because of our ability. Thank you for the plus six. Now you get KO'd. <laughs> bun carrying. Let's go. Good dog. 
I had one of these on my first run through of this game. In fact, I had all three of the new dogs. The ghost dog, the dark dog, and the fairy dog on my team when I first ran through. And my starter was Skeletor, which is kind of a dog. Not really. Koi Coco looks a bit like a dog. But it was so fun. I love the bun. Let's go. Let's go, bun. Beating a restricted. Oh, yeah. Alright, Jake. You've got Groudon and Kyogre. That's fine, I guess. The problem, though, is Articuno. Articuno's banned in Regulation H, don't you know? Uh, but there's also Golem, Electivire, and Clawitzer, which are legal. Kyogre and Groudon. That's funny. That's kind of funny. Uh, and I have my own weather. It's gonna be a big weather war, which actually helps the Ninetales. What do I have that's good into Kyogre and Groudon? Actually, Rillaboom is good against that whole team, except... Except for the Articuno. So I definitely want to have Rillaboom. Maybe I'll lead Rillaboom, try to do some big damage there. I don't hate Samurott either. Samurott can do something, especially if rain goes up. Uh, Electivire is a little spooky for it. I want Typhlosion, but I'm worried about how the weather's going to work out. If we end up with Sun, Typhlosion's great in the back, just to clean up. But if they keep rain up, it's a lot harder. And then probably Ninetales. I could, yeah, I could use Ninetales to tur just turn the weather to snow, and then I can make sure fire moves do damage. But Vax Caliber ain't bad either. Do I just let them have weather? Yeah, I'm not going to put up the snow. I'm too afraid of Articuno. <laughs> Articuno could legit sweep if it just, if it gets its snow cloak activated. So I'm just going to fight a Groudon and a Kyogre in their own weather. And you're going to go get a trainer card, Jake. Go ask State Farm if they'll provide one. Alright, Articuno Golem. Uh, cool. Articuno something I want to get rid of right away. I could fake out and I could hit Golem. Uh, it's pressure Articuno, so I was worried about nothing. Rillaboom. Could fake out and then I could ceaseless edge this Articuno, just get it worn down. And I'll see what Golem does. I, It could explode. I'm a little worried that it just explodes. But I'm targeting the Legendary. Oh boy. Is this going to be Terra Normal Explosion plus Protect? No, Articuno's terrestrializing. Into Ice. Okay, I'm glad I hit that because it's going for damage. That makes me think it's not going to be an Explosion. Which is great. Alright. Alright, we confirm we're faster. Good damage. Thank you for the spikes too, Samurai. Articuno flinches. Good, no cloak. And Earthquake. Oh, you're gonna hit your own Articuno, you Terran! It's fine, though. Grass reduced that enough that it didn't do anything to anybody. <laughs> that's how grass works. It weakens Magnitude, Bulldoze, and Earthquake. Not every ground move, just those three. Alright, I think I will glide at Golem. Am I greedy? Do I want a second layer of spikes? What's the accuracy? 90? Ooh, no, I'm not greedy. I'm just happy to Aqua Cutter the Articuno now, finish that off, and glide the Golem, because I don't want to take recoil. Golem probably has sturdy anyway, so like... Yeah, see? There it is. Wood Hammer wouldn't have helped. Aqua Cutter finishes off Articuno. Okay, threat neutralized. Now we just have to deal with two restrictors. And a Golem. I'm not too worried about Golem. I'm worried about the. Sh I'm worried about the. Earth. Oh, it exploded! No, I was worried about Golem. Oh no, live! Oh, we ate that. Okay. Okay. It wasn't Terra Normal. It wasn't Normal Gem. It wasn't Choice Band. Golem's actually not as strong as it was. Phew. Okay. What do you got? Groudon and Kyogre. I hope the Groudon is slower. Here's Groudon. And Electivire! Oh, change up! Okay. I brought everything I had for Kyogre, and you didn't bring one. Thank you for the spikes. 
Samurott, you're awesome. All right, water moves aren't gonna be that great anymore, but Eruption can clean up this game. I just need to get some damage on Groudon. Grassy Glide, and then Terra Poison's not really gonna help me. I'll Aqua Jet to trip, chip the Electivire a bit. I don't think it's gonna do much. If I can get both of these hits off, they might be put into Eruption Rain. Good. That looks like Eruption Range on both, unless it's like Assault Vest on the Electivire. Ooh, and we lit that too. Precipice Blades. Hammer Arm? Okay. That's fine with me. I guess they didn't want to risk Precipice Blades. Hammer Arm is more accurate, but you can KO my Rillaboom, so you're in trouble. Typhlosion, it is your time. Erupt on them. Uh, and I think the best play is to... Oh, what do they got? Soft Sand. Muscle Band. That makes sense. Grassy Glide to chip down the Electivire a bit. Terrifier Eruption should clear the board. Should be able to finish this off in style. Uh, they don't get a, any priority moves on Electivire. They have Follow Me, potentially. But that won't matter because I'm attacking you anyway. So yeah, I think this is the play. Eruption should clear the board after this glide. And I was worried about them being Assault Fest, but then I crit, I see they're not Assault Fest, so I think I don't even need the glide. Ooh, but the glide does a lot. Alright, yeah, that's definitely Eruption Rain. Probably didn't need to Terra. Sorry for wasting your time there. Goodbye, Restricted. Boom. Pow. We got some power in these non-legendary Pokémon. Let's go. Let's go. Typhlosion, you've been great. Hisui Typhlosion and Hisui Samurott have both been great. Wow, that's so fun. GG's. And we're back. Everyone did so great. Oh my goodness, this team is awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Kratastic, for sharing it. There's the rental code in the corner if you want to try it too. Hop on the casual ladder with this because I, I got some good fights on casual ladder today. I've had a ton of fun. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.